It's a beautiful rainy day here. We got a new toy. Dad, what do you think of this new toy? Huh? What do you think of this new toy? I don't like it. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's junk. <laughs> we had a little mishap on the trailer. Let's see if we can get this thing off of here. Why is it junk? Too old. Like me. Uh, got a little chain of locks and the trust grill. We'll see what happens. Left hand's red. Need a battery. As we pulled her up, let's give you a little quick walk around. It says maintenance. I think that's because it needs a whole lot of maintenance. Maintenance. So it's obviously a heister forklift. We don't know the year. Came from an old shop. Multi-stage mast. Who knows if this even works anymore, but it says it's got 9,600 hours on it. That's a few. Key switch actually works. have a temporary battery on it because it has a custom narrow battery underneath. Let me go ahead and pop the tank off and the seat lifts up. Take a look inside. So here we got her opened up now. I believe it's a flathead continental four cylinder propane engine. The previous owner said he took the engine out about 10 years ago when he first got it and re it. It has two pedals 
to disengage the clutch and stop the unit. This guy here, actually they're both just attached. Kind of hard to see over there. They're both attached to the same linkage. And then a selector switch here for forward and reverse. I don't think this linkage is adjusted properly or it's not letting it fully engage. I'm not 100% sure, but it goes really good forward, but struggles in reverse. Now here's the pedals that disengage the clutch and engage, or disengage the drive and engage the brake. I don't really see any regular adjustment there, but it does have on the bottom blocking your light. Here on the bottom, it has a nut that adjusts how far how far this lever can rotate backwards. I'm going to see if we can thread that in a little more and see if that changes uh, how it engages. This is the common shaft on the other side. There's the other pedal. Yeah, and this side has something similar, but I don't understand why it would have two separate stops. This side appears to have some play in it. So, I believe this side is the side we want to adjust because it's solid. So we're going to go ahead and thread that guy in a little bit and see what happens. Hit her with some blaster. Well, WD-40, my blaster's buried somewhere. Chances this is gonna turn. That wasn't a good sign. Oh! Looks like it's probably welded in there. Uh. Uh. Try the torch. It's gonna catch on fire.
Yeah, it's turning. I'm going crazy. It's turning. I can't believe it. Alright, that definitely adjusted her up. Alright, let's see what this sweet maintenance ride will do with that adjustment. Uh oh. Need to rebuild the starter. I think we still need to adjust what we we're just fiddling with, but maybe try to adjust this side too. Catalog problem. Number one. At least number one noticed. 
radiator hose is leaking. Meanwhile, we're gonna try to adjust this. It's turning, I can't believe it. that whole mechanism with some WD-40. Let's give her another shot. Big leak.
boys. Yeah. So I couldn't help but notice that the forklift has number five stenciled on the mast. That's probably the unit number at the plant it was used at. And it also has, as we saw earlier, maintenance stenciled on the side. So, I don't know. We gotta come up with a nickname for this thing. For some reason I thought about Short Circuit the other day and should I call it Johnny Number 5 after Short Circuit or nickname Maintenance? I don't know yet. Why don't you go down in the comment section below, leave me a comment, tell me what, which name you think is a better nickname for this project. Johnny Number 5 after sh Short Circuit or Maintenance? If you have any other comments or suggestions, please leave them, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, always give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button over in the lower right hand corner. We got a lot more videos coming out on this unit. We have a lot more things to do with it. Um, obviously some brake issues, some hydraulic leak issues, but uh, we'll post those as we go. Thanks guys.